guys what's up this is place the movie fan and this will be a video response to Kyrie waves video titled top five generations now i know that master p10 already beat me too it with a commentary but god damn it I still wanna get my thoughts out, so I will. Even though Master P10 said a couple of good things about the video, there are still a couple of things that I want to say on my own. Most of this video will be focusing on making a video response to the part where Wave talks about Generation 3. Now, I fucking love Pokemon Rugby. Back when it was new, I used to play it a lot, and I really enjoyed it, and I remember it very well, so I'm in every right to defend that game. I am going to be refuting its argument Wave made in no particular order. So anyway, Wave said in that video, this game is mostly just about defeating an evil team, going from gym to gym, fighting the champion and there is nothing new to the game and all I gotta say to that is seriously dude what the fuck were you expecting the fact that there isn't much to the gameplay is a generic statement that could apply to every single Pokemon game out there and yes even your precious generation 2 games yes sure Gold, silver and crystal have more varieties than they have events that happen on specific days. But that doesn't change the fact that those games are also guilty of being repetitive, being similar to other Pokemon games and so on and so on. In fact, I have to say that I find it very hypocritical that you hate Pokemon Rugby for being boring and stuff but love Pokemon Gold, Silver and Crystal who are guilty of being boring and repetitive as well. Another argument that I want to talk about that you said about the third generation is the fact that there is nothing to do after you defeat the champion. That is bullshit. There is nothing to do. Let me tell you something. Thing. Besides the main game, there still are a couple of things to do in Pokemon Rugby. You can capture Rekirok, Rekias and Rekistir, who I must remind you are not Pokemon that you fight just by finding them and capturing them. You also have to solve puzzles to find those legendary golems. And there is also a very useful feature in Pokemon Rugby that I must point out to you. And I used that feature a lot back when I played Pokemon Rugby. It's called Match Core. With that neat feature, you can basically re-challenge some trainers that you have already challenged. You could say it's an added bonus. And you know what? By re-challenging those trainers, you get more money and experience points. And, and you also get more experience points from trainer battles than you get from wild battles. Another thing about that match core feature that I must point out. There are two fully evolved Pokemon that you cannot see in the Pokedex without that feature. And those are Golem and Machamp. No trainer in the game has either Golem or Machamp in their first match. However, with that useful feature, there is one hiker who uses a Golem in one of his three matches. And there is also a Black Belt who uses his Machamp in one of the three matches. And I did find it very useful to re-challenge those trainers. I have no idea how you could have forgotten about that neat feature. And not to mention, there are also a couple of Pokemon that you can capture during the game. There are tons of them that you could capture and train. And some Pokemon like Chimeiko and Phoebus aren't Pokemon that are really easy to catch. Since Phoebus is only on specific spots and Chimeiko 
is the rear on the location it's at. I also must remind you that you can cut latios in rugby and latios in sapphire. And those two Pokemon are roaming Pokemon, meaning that they go from one route to the next. Master P. Tan already pointed out the Sky Pillar where you can capture a Rayquaza. And there is also that Battle Tower where you can battle trainers. Well, granted, the Battle Tower in this game isn't as usual as it is later on in later generations since. There isn't a specific fixed level for the battle tower, but it was still pretty neat. So, yeah, I completely destroyed your argument that there is nothing to do after the game is over. Now, what else did you say that I want to talk about? Oh, yes, you say that you only like 10% of the Pokemon that are from the Hoenn region. You know what would have been useful if you gave good examples of Pokemon from the Hoenn region that sucked. But I'm sorry to say man, but you gave horrible examples. Torchicwinkle and Wormpool aren't even fully evolved yet, so obviously they aren't very good Pokemon. Now I can name a couple of Pokemon from the Hoenn region that I actually find very good. Swampert, Blaziken, Sceptile, Hariyama, Huntail, Groudon, Yoker, and I could go on and on. I personally find a lot of Hoenn Pokemon that are fully evolved very useful. There is one argument that you brought up that I totally agree with you on. Pokemon contests fucking suck, both in the games and the anime, so I give you props for that. Also, back when I played Pokemon Rugby, I used to love going to secret bases and have my own little items there. Granted, it wasn't exactly a feature that helped the gameplay, but it was still a pretty neat feature. And you also complain that there aren't many useful abilities. Well, Master P10 already destroyed that argument with examples, so I don't have to do that. You also talk about the spin-off games, and since I haven't played that game that you mentioned, I really have nothing to say about that. Now here is something that I can argue with you on, and that is the Pokemon anime. I do agree with you 100% that Mei is a good character. And to be honest, I also liked Max because he was so smart. But I understand your complaints about the Pokemon anime, and your complaints about the advanced generation of the Pokemon anime are a lot better than your arguments on the game. And yes, I will agree with you that Team Rocket sucks. And then you say that Hoenn is mostly water and you are sick of seeing that. Even though this isn't a reason that I agree with you on, I understand your frustration. But let me point something out. Even though it is true that Hoenn is mostly water, it isn't 100% just water. I mean, there are volcanoes in Hoenn, there is an ice cave, and there are also some other caves in Hoenn. Granted, the volcano, the caves, and the landmark aren't many, but they're still there. And there is also a desert in Hoenn. It's very small, but it's still there. But yeah, besides those few places, Hoenn is mostly water. And you also complain that there are barely any Pokemon double battles in the game. You are right. There are extremely few double battles in the game. And they could have used double battles a lot more. But be glad that now double battles are more common in the games. Another complaint that you have is the fact that in events of cheating there are missing no numbers instead of the game freezing. And I just gotta ask, do you want the game to freeze? 
I mean seriously, what the fuck man? Isn't missing no better than the game freezing? I mean if you the game freezes, you would lose all your data. Isn't that a bad thing? I just don't understand where you're coming from in that argument man. Those are basically all the arguments that were brought up in the video. Now, am I trying to change your mind? No! I do not have a problem with the fact that you don't like the third generation. However, I disagreed with most of what you said. Hence the reason why I made this video. If you wanna keep on hating the third generation, then go right ahead. I don't have a problem with that. I just felt like making this video response so I can argue with most of the points that you made. And I'm just going to be blunt here. Most of the points that you made against Generation 3 is fucking bullshit. I'm sorry man, but that's just the way I see it. Anyway people, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.